Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial today. We're going to be doing another really cool starter house and this one, it's awesome. It's one of my personal favorites. Let me flip. Let me show you. Let's see what we have in this house right now. Bam! Look at that! Isn't that cool? Check this out. So yes, it is still, I consider it a starter. Because it is two-story, but it's not that big. It's really not that big. It's a small little little house, but it's cool. It has a nice uh, little area here for some uh, bushy bushes, a little bit of croppage and stuff. You can put really anything in there. Uh, around the corner here, we have a nice little fireplace that goes up, shooting up right up into that, those god rays. Look at that. Uh, towards the back area, we also have a nice little area, a little mining entrance. You can go down to the bottom. Look at that. Really, really cool. Uh, and then we have some a uh, little shed back here to keep all your stuff in case you need to and you know you have a little more space out here in the back to do some more stuff uh, around the corner it's looking pretty cool we have a nice little block palette here using some dark oak uh, uh, blogs some dark oak planks uh, and some stone in this little base here on the side the interior looks pretty cool as well we packed as much as we can inside this small space we have a spot for brewing here we have all of our uh, cooking stations and also all of our furnaces we have storage here on the side as well and check this out we have a whole area here for storage here on uh, the side here so plenty of space for storage and on the tippy top we have a room of four beds here uh, we have a bunk bed here on the side more storage here and just a nice little area on the corner here uh, we also have a nice little seating area towards the balcony but what do you guys think is this cool <laughs> you know what let's get this started let's start building this uh, starter house right now all right, let's get this started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with the cobblestone side. We're going to do the first and second story, and then we'll do the pop out after on the side and the fireplace last. So for right now, let's grab our stone brick, go right in the corner, and we're going to go up one, two, three, and four. Take this side, go up by four with cobble. Here we're going to give it a space of one and two. Put a little upside down stair here, full block of cobble, and then take this one also up by four. This one also is going to go up by four, so we have this front facade already. Turning this corner, we're going to pretty much just cover this up. One, two, three, and four. This one, we're not going to put anything yet because we're going to put all of our smokers, blast furnaces, and regular furnaces right here. And then here, we're going to also go up by four. Then, matching that corner bit, we're also going to put stone brick. Here, also up by four. Here, let's just go up by one. Give it a space of one and two. Put another full block of cobble there. We're going to put a nice little window up by four here, and then up by four with stone. Over here, we're also gonna take this up by four, this one up by four, and then we're gonna have a little door to get into this section. So take it up by one and two, upset on stair, and cobble right there on that side. So that's looking pretty cool. Then next up, we're gonna grab our dark oak logs and use this as a placeholder, one more placeholder, put a log facing this direction, and then we're gonna come all the way down, overhanging that by one. We're going to cross beam that leave it just up to here but then we're going to do let's see placeholder placeholder and then put that log facing this direction and then we're going to mirror what we did there on this side and then overhang that right there then we're going to cross beam and cover that up so we have this look right there super simple and i love that now let's grab some dark oak stairs i'm going to go upside down on all these three right there then we're going to turn this corner i'm going to put an upside down here and here leaving the middle don't don't touch that yet we're going to put upside downs on all these and on this one, don't even touch that. That we're good to go for that side for now. So we have this look like this. Then next up, let's start lifting this up here in this corner with our log. And we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four. Here we're gonna grab some dark oak and go up one, two, three, and then cross beam that. We're gonna go up one, two, three, and four. That seals up here. Here we're gonna go with a full block, give it a space of one. We're gonna put an upside down stair of our dark oak here. Put a little cross beam there, and then take this one up as well. Gonna do the same thing here one two three and cross beam and then take this up right there and we have this front look and i love that that's gonna be awesome we're gonna turn this corner here and we're gonna do the same thing so one two three cross beam here we're gonna go up one two three and four here we're gonna take this up one two three don't put a window there because we're gonna put our fireplace gonna pop out through that so we're gonna go up by here and you know what just repeat this just like so till we get the same look we have in the front but without a window just like that then let's turn this corner we're going to do the same thing we did here we're going to do another version over here so super simple up by three cross beam take this up by four full block give it a space of one upside down stair cross beam here take this one up connecting to that and then we're going to do the same thing dark oak cross beam and take this one all the way up and we have that same thing mirrored now on this side we're going to do the same thing so we're going to go up like that up right here we're going to put this up 
on that section. One, two, three, one, two, three. I don't want to put a window on this side. You'll see, it's gonna look cool. Then we have that sealed up. We have this part and then we have that mirrored all the way around looking pretty good. Now, next up, let's work on the roof. Now for the roof, we're gonna grab dark oak and dark oak only. We're gonna overhang that right here and take that all the way back down and overhang this side. Now let's repeat this again from this side. We're gonna go all the way down and overhang that right there. Then let's go do some upside down stairs, one on this side, and then we're just gonna go up gradually till we reach the center point, which would be right about there. Upside down stair here and then a stair facing that way. And then we're just gonna repeat that on this side. So we're just gonna go regular stair pattern till we get to the tippy top and then boom, matching that. We're gonna also repeat this on this side. There we go, looking awesome. Repeat it on this side. Now just connect, going from one side to the other, one side to the next, and just fill in all the gaps up top. Now, once we get to this part right here, we're gonna grab some slabs and we're gonna go all the way down and just connect that side to that side. And then here, we're just gonna go ahead and just connect it all. So you can see what it looks like when it's clean and there's nothing popping out of it. And this is what we would do. If you're not gonna put a fireplace, it's gonna look just like this, but I'm gonna add that in a second. It's gonna pop up right through this side. But for right now, check that out. That's looking pretty cool. Now, we're gonna put some upside down stairs on each side of those stairs right here. You're gonna see that connection. And we're gonna put another stair in the center and then slabs on the side. Then in the middle here, we're gonna grab a uh, the strip the strip kind of our spruce and we're going to put it right here on this end right here on this end and then we're going to grab our dark oak and take that up take that up and take that up and that's the look we're looking for on the inside now i'm going to repeat this on the other side really quick and there you go this side is repeated looking really really cool then extra little bit of detail we're going to grab some trap doors and we're going to put them every other one right here on that side and then we're also gonna repeat that over here on this side. There you go, that looks awesome. Now, next up, let's come over here to the front and we're gonna do the little extension on this side. So for this one, we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four, and that connects to the bottom of that. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm gonna go up one, two, three, and four here. Also up by four. This one's gonna go also up by four. And then this one's also gonna go up by four all the way around. And then we're just gonna mirror that. So we're gonna go four here, four there, four on this side and then four more right there over here we're going to do a little bit of a window we're going to go up by four up by four we're going to put one full block here and then we're also going to go with a full block on top of that we have a double window right there then let's grab slabs so i'm going to go with slabs right here on this end and we're going to do it really simply just like this pop that out by one and then we're going to go two 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 and two going all the way up like this we're gonna repeat that over here by swinging that all the way down and then go again. Two, 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 and two, just like that. And then we're gonna connect one side to the next, like so. This one can get double right there. This one can double up right here. And then this one can double up going all the way down. Just, oop, bleh, hold on, just like that, perfect. So we have that connected. Now for this one, we wanna go ahead and run this up one more. So let's take that little piece off, connect that, and then go that one all the way to the top. I'm gonna repeat this over here as well. So just take out that little piece, take that up, and connect that with a full block. And that is looking pretty cool. All right, next up, let's work on our fireplace little chimney action. So this is what I'm gonna do right here. We're gonna take our brick and we're gonna go up one, two, three. Over here, we're gonna put a stair facing downwards like so. Then we're gonna lift this up one and two, and we're gonna put a stair facing this way. We're gonna go up one, put a stair facing this way, and then we're also gonna go up one, put a stair facing that direction. So we have that lovely little chimney action right there. And then we're gonna go on the inside. So imagine, this kind of moves inward, so we're not gonna put one on this end. We're not gonna put one here, but we are gonna pop one in right at this side. So imagine this going straight up to the top right here. And then we can also just pretty much just take it all the way up like so and then from this side we're just gonna go up an extra one two three and i think that's perfect we're gonna grab a campfire and we're gonna put that in the center right over here we're also gonna grab some trap doors and for this one you know what let's go with the dark oak trap door just to make it a little bit different so it stands out a little more and we're gonna surround that and then lift this up right there then we're gonna mix in a little bit of the granite just to break up the texture, just like so. Right here on this side, we can go ahead and extend this beam an extra one and two, an extra one and two, then go right down here on the third block, pop it out, 
do a little cross beam, and then pop this one up right here. Then we can grab some slabs and we can just cover this part up here, a little spruce slab, take that part out. And then we have ourselves a nice little balcony outside area here. Then I think if we bring in a little bit of our oak and we can just go something like that, grab a little gate on the front and it's gonna look cool. It has a nice little contrast to that. Then we can bring this up uh, probably one more, but you know what? Let's bring this time a little bit of our stone brick wall. Take this up one and one on this side. And just to break it up a little bit more, let's go with some dark oak, just like that. Then we can take that all the way down right here and we won't mess with the roof on top. Now, let's grab our dark oak trap door. I wanna put some trap door underneath and give it a nice little wrap around like so. Already have some here on this side. And then also, let's bring a little bit of the green glass. Look how cool the green glass looks like with this texture. Isn't that cool? I like that. So we're going to put that all the way around. And then we have our door here on this side. We don't have any on that. Then I can bring in some flower boxes. And let's get some flower box craziness going on. How about we put, uh, I think a group over here would look pretty cool. Maybe a little one, two, and three. But how about we take it on that side? Yeah, that looks cool. Let's go with a uh, one on this one. And then let's grab our spruce trap door, which is right here, and swing this all the way around, just like that. Then we have a little triple over here. We could swing that around like so. And that looks pretty good. Then for the front here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add also a little bit of a garden area. And I love doing this. This is one of my favorite things. So right now, let me get a little bit of cobblestone. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of an outside garden here. So I'm gonna pile it up from right here. Let's go one, one, two, three one one two three one and a one and a two and we have a nice little garden right there and then we could just maybe uh we can open one side right here and then grab some slabs and we can go ahead and just do a little bit of a lift up job on some of these maybe one here here let's grab two and that looks great and then just uh, fill that in with a bunch of bushes and flowers but what do you guys think is this looking nice i think it's looking pretty nice there we go now Really quick, another thing we could do is, and I'll give you an option if you wanted to, if you wanted to break up this roof, because it looks very simple, very clean. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Or you can leave it just like this, and it looks equally as awesome. Or you can add little bits of window up here. You can do anything really you want, but I'm gonna show you how it would look like if it looks a little more broken. So I'm gonna grab slabs, and I'm gonna come in here. Let's do like a double right there. Be pretty much just full blocks, not really slabs. We're gonna do full blocks there, a little full block here. Take those down, that looks a little bit of a broken up job here. Maybe some right here on that side. And just by doing this, breaks up this whole entire roof so much. And it looks so beat up, it's so rustic looking. I love that, maybe a little piece right there. There you go, something super simple like that just changes the whole entire roof. Look at nice, I love that. Then, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, so let's go. Uh, let's do maybe a little double right there. Maybe single and a single there. Maybe bring that one down. Then bring maybe a little double and a single there. And let's do a double right here. Maybe a little single one there. And then we could pop in a little bit of that slab there. We could even drop some of these down like so. And then maybe bringing in some of the trap door on the top. Also does a little bit to make that look a little more beat up. Maybe something like that. Oh man, there you go. That is looking really, really awesome. Maybe one more right here. And maybe another double. That is cool. One more, I gotta put it. There we go, done. Looking pretty beat up and pretty rustic. Now, we can also do it on this side as well by coming into certain spots, maybe doing something like that, bringing in the trap doors, uh, maybe even putting some of these as ones right there. Maybe another one back in the side, or maybe even a three. We could do that, it really depends how you want it. Uh, but maybe another single one right there. Uh, no, no trap door. Maybe we could bring this into something like that. Maybe another one on that end. And then some of these could be like so. And I think that's good. We don't have to go too crazy. Maybe something like that. And maybe another one right there maybe. There we go, that looks awesome. And maybe another little single one right here and then maybe that could be a single one there too there we go nice and broken beat up <laughs> i like that that's cool all right now let's do a little bit of this little bush area here so to make it look really nice i'm gonna go ahead and add some coarse dirt 
like so, a little bit of podzo, and then leave the rest grass. Uh, I like doing this. I like mixing a little bit of the big leaves and some of the um, the, the flowers and some tall uh, versions also of the flowers. But the way I like doing it, I like stacking up the high big leaves up towards the back and then maybe a little bit towards the front, but mostly back in this area like so. Then we can bring in some of the roses and I'm gonna bring this out to the front and maybe one more here on the side. That looks good. And then bring in a little bit of the flowers now. So maybe a little bit of the blue, maybe a little bit of the white back here. Uh, also another thing I like doing is maybe bringing in a little bit of the grass. Uh, so a little grass right here, a little bit there. And if anything, also a fern looks really, really good. So always start with the taller uh, bushes towards the back, the big bushes, the tall grass a little bit towards the back, but maybe pushed in a little bit forward from them, from those bushes. And then maybe for just uh, keeping some tall, um, either tall grass or tall, double tall flowers, maybe some scattered towards the side, but leave an open field of view. So you can pretty much see all the big stuff in the back, the smaller stuff towards the front, something like that. Also, you know what might help? Since we are using our boy, uh, Jersey Boys Better Leaf, uh, we can maybe mix some of the different colors and that just makes everything pop so we have two different leaf styles one on each side and if you don't you want to you can also even do the berry bush uh, looks pretty cool uh, we can uh, mix some of this out maybe take out one of you and maybe do a little berry bush let that grow and that looks pretty good. I don't know. I kind of like that. Uh, maybe one in the front here. It's, it's kind of like that tall flower in the back. There we go. And that looks awesome. So um, now another thing we could do is texture. Now the texturing I like to do is really on this cobblestone side. So we can mix in a little bit of the stone like so. We can also mix some of the stone here. So it's not just one single solitary block like that. And that looks a lot better just by doing it like this. And then we can even bring a little end aside if you want, just to break up the texture even more. And it does so much by doing that, just like that. And that looks pretty good. Maybe a little more end aside right here. Maybe one on the side there. Cool. That's perfect. Maybe a little end aside around there. All right. Now that we're inside here, let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm gonna go really simple, putting our furnaces. So blast furnace, regular smoker furnace is good right there. I'm gonna seal that part up right there. That's nice. Uh, on the floor here, I'm gonna make it look cool. I'm gonna put a little bit of a mix of brick and granite it's all up to you guys whatever you want to put as a flooring but this looks pretty cool uh also we're gonna put a door there that's fine then uh over here we got different options we have a door to get into this side and we could do a different flooring here and you know what i'm gonna do that i'm gonna change this up to just regular oak here on this side so for here we can do really anything you want on this side we could do a bedroom you could do a storage room you could do really much anything i like the ceiling too it looks really really cool here i'm thinking about making this into our storage so let's leave that there for now uh to get to this part to the top here i'm thinking bedroom of the top here uh we can do a lot of cool stuff but make it really really simple i'm gonna put a ladder just to get to the top and save space here because you don't want to spiral staircase or anything you're gonna waste all that space so for this we have this as level so technically this is the floor level so we can play around with this part here so for this part here i want to make it very simple let's put some logs facing upwards like this i'm gonna pop uh, these cross beams here another cross beam this way cross beams all the way around like so then on the top here, we're just gonna put our slabs. We're gonna go all the way down like this, pretty much matching what we're doing out here. And then we're gonna put a little trap door here to get up on this side. It's a little trap door facing downward. And then we have this spot, plenty of space up here. Uh, and then you can always mess around with what you see up here. Uh, but for now, let's do this. I'm gonna seal this part up and we have this cool little look. Then I wanna add some details. So what if we do this? Let's do a little cross beam right there and a little cross beam right there. I'm gonna put a little stair on that one, stair here. I'm gonna put a stair here and here. Then we're gonna put some trap doors going down like that, and then some trap doors going down like this. That looks pretty cool, adding that little bit of extra detail on that. Uh, also, we can put some stairs here, and then some stairs on the top. And then here, I'm gonna seal this up with some trap doors on that level trap door here and then a little trap door right there and look at that ceiling that's cool right i like that all right let's jump back down here to the first floor before we set up the top floor what i really want to do is one thing right here i want to grab this out let's actually put a beam right here and it's going to make it look a little cooler plus we can drop a light from the top by doing that then i'm going to get rid of these two blocks we're going to put a piece of soul sand in here with some nether wart and it's going to look awesome because then we're going to put our cauldron here and this is going to be pretty cool because now we're going to put three of our barrels like this 
We're gonna grab some trap doors and we're gonna do something pretty cool. We're gonna make like a little shelf. So a little shelf going there and then a little shelf going up top. And then over here, we could drop like a chest there and then even like two of our brewing stands. We have a nice little shelving unit tucked away in this nice little space, which is pretty awesome. Then, another thing that I want to do is over here on this side, just to give it a little bit of life, let's grab a composter. I'm going to put a little bit of flower action uh, or, or bushy bush action right here on the top just to give a little bit of color to this room, a one and a two. And we have this nice little area looking pretty nice. Now, let's go in here really fast. I'm going to work on our storage, making it super simple. We're just going to put barrels on one side barrels on another we can stack barrels all the way to the top if you want uh if anything you could do something like this maybe double uh, on both sides and then we can grab some chests and put some chests right up top here and we can go one and two one and two uh here we could yes and then here oh we can't because of this but you know what you can get rid of that and you don't need it <laughs> and then we could just do something like this just so we can have those double chests there and just come back on this end and we got this right here looking pretty good this one actually hold on there we go that looked weird okay nice <laughs> so we have all that set up and we can open all of these chests on the top and that's plenty of space i think uh we're also going to need a crafting bench though so don't forget about your crafting benches <laughs> sometimes i forget to put them in my bills but i know you guys know we need them right you can make either a crafting bench over here or you can either uh wait well, you can put one on the bottom you can put all these as crafting benches so go crazy with crafting benches man you don't even know where you want to click it click on any of those now we do need some light here so i think right there would be a perfect spot spot for it uh and you're good you're good to go so door here and door on this side you're not really done if you pop a painting somewhere so let's pop a little painting here on that side you can even put carpet on the floor if you want but we're looking pretty good let's go upstairs though now here on the top floor there's so many different ways to set this up and it really is all on personal preference or if you like say playing this with a friend you can make bunk beds here if you're playing this with a bunch of people you can even make this into a four player base if you want by putting two beds uh, and two beds on each side so many different options but you know what let's for now the best option having some composters with bushes okay i love that but <laughs> let me work out a little bit of a of a bit of detail here so i'm gonna go with two stairs here upside down all the way on top and then here maybe like a little shelving unit something like this you could add some shelving details uh maybe even put a little light on one of these things so something like that uh if you are going to do four players you could do something like that all the way down if you want to do uh, some bunk beds let me show you how to do bunk beds you could do something really really simple actually you could do something like this maybe a bed up here then get rid of those and then a bed like that then grab some trap doors that we have right here and do something simple like that you can even bring our ladder and put a little ladder to get up to the top of there like that just for fun and then on this side you could do a little bit of barrel action so uh bring in a little barrel bring in a little bit of chest action did i just lose the barrel yes i did grab some chests and then you can just go nuts on this side putting like a little side storage here as well adding more storage never hurts so something really really simple like that uh you can even go up here add even more uh chest uh you can even get a little armor stand you can put armor on one of these corners as well maybe here in the back in the center you can add a little armor stand if you have two player armor stands like maybe for you and your friend you can get rid of these bushes here and put the armors on the side as well so many different options though it really is up to you guys uh, hopefully this gives you just a little bit of inspiration if you just want to play around and do something but um this is other things you can also do here add a little bit of flower pot action uh get a little bit of flower here maybe a little flower right there maybe a little flower up top uh do something like that maybe some sea pickles if anything as well you know play around uh also paintings you can never go wrong with adding a couple paintings in certain spots uh maybe let's see i, I want just a single painting so to do that maybe something simple like that or even the long paintings look pretty good something like that uh then we can do the same thing on the other side see if we can get the opposite one yes yeah, very nice very easy and then sometimes you know what's good if you add some buttons next to the paintings these can actually make it look cool and make it look a little unique and break it up a little bit sometimes so buttons next to it just like that that would look pretty cool and maybe another little couple paintings here on the top 
Uh, we can even add carpet on the bottom. It's really up to you guys, whatever you want to do. Uh, but if you want to add a little bit of carpet, I like doing maybe just a simple carpet like that. Or you can do like the, the big patterny ones, just going all the way around scattered. Uh, it really is up to you guys how you want to do it. I'm going to go with a simple one, just like that. Put some armor there, whatever. Uh, we also need some light, right? Uh huh. So we have one already here, but if you want to get creative, you can just drop a couple down like that. Uh, and it looks really, really nice. On the outside here, maybe a little bit of a seat somewhere. But we definitely should add some light here so nothing spawns. Uh, but then here we can add maybe some seats by adding some of this right here. We can add a couple chairs on each side. Or maybe just one chair. Uh, and then maybe like a little trap door on the side. Like it's like a little bit of a handle to that. And that looks pretty cool. Or you can even do a sign. Or you can even do some item frames and this also looks good as a handle so that'll look pretty good like that i think can you even sneak one in here yes you can and that looks even better and then maybe even a banner on the back to make it look even better looks like a big chair and <laughs> that looks awesome but that's pretty much it though that's pretty much it right here but let me go outside let me show you how you can do a little bit of terraforming as well to make it look a little bit better on the outside and there you go all done looking really really cool let's look around here let me show you guys how i did my terraforming super simple just lay down some path block spreading out from the door over to whatever next path you're gonna get to so from here i went up to this side and when we have a little lift up here with some spruce slabs to head off into another direction if you want to keep building on this side here but and also we mix a little bit of coarse dirt mix a little a bit of podzo uh and then a little bit of bush along the path here got some spruce bush here some tall grass uh did a little bit also on this side just to give it a little bit of detail so it's not just a path and then just woods and so adding a little bit of bush like this a little bit of uh, tall ferns double tall grass some flowers it looks really really awesome especially when you're laying out a path here uh, and then when the path breaks down and it's not a lot of like walking area then you just switch the course it a little bit and then back to path wherever you have your uh, heavily walked down areas and that looks pretty cool also check this out I decided to add this little spot there's nothing else to it just this but you can definitely set up a little mine entrance right here in the back of the house. If you notice right here, we put four blocks right behind this main pillar. And then a slab, four block, slab, four block, ending right on this end. And then trap doors to cover it up. And all you got to do is just, just dig down all the way down uh, and pop out some lights every once in a while. And this will be a good spot if you want to go all the way down to whatever mining level you think is the best. I think 12 is the best. Some people say 11. I don't know. Let me know uh, what you think is the best mining level. But right back here, a nice little way up. And then when you're done, you just close that up what do you think is that a cool spot for that i think it's a cool spot for that but there you go all said and done we have a little spot in the back here also for like a little storage area a little workstation uh extra bits out here like for your grindstone and your stone cutter and i really like the way that came out that's cool uh added over here a little bit of a trap door um shutter here oh and i also wanted to add one more here just to give a little bit of niceness here uh there you go add a little trap door you can put it on any side uh and that looks pretty cool man but what do you guys think is this cool i think it came out pretty awesome but let me know what you guys think of our starter house <laughs> i think it came out awesome let me know if there's any other builds again you guys want me to do for an upcoming episode but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye